Have I tried lean? Yes, but on accident. Someone gave me Sprite and I thought it was Sprite, but it was lean. And I was tr it was in school and I was tripping for like an hour. Because I only had like one gulp. How do you have lean on accident? I just told you. My cousin, my cousin came up to me and she was like, do you want a drink? And I was like, I thought it was Sprite. I was like, I was like, yeah, give me that Sprite. Like I'm thirsty and I like soda. And I took it, I was like, <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> and I was like, I, I, as soon as I tasted it, I knew I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I'm in danger. So like my home base, I was a freshman in high school. So I was sitting in my home base just like this. I wasn't doing any fucking work, just sitting there thinking. 25 is not old, trust me. When you guys get to 25, you're gonna understand how like young you feel. I understand why people say that they feel old because back in like the 1900s and even up to like the 1990s people were having children at like 21 and they would be just fine but the rate of inflation especially in the united states but all across the world makes it so that people have to push their lives way ahead before they can really start doing anything you know what i'm saying where we are as 25 year olds now people were experiencing the hardships of like 20 and 18 and 19 we can't even fucking get off of our parents' insurance until 26 because we have we cannot figure shit out because we can't afford anything. We can't afford shit. It's taking way longer to do everything. So we're just like regressing. My mom had me at 23. I could not even fucking imagine having a kid at 30. I'd have to have... I, 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 like, I think 30 would be the time that I consider consider having kids i hope you're not self-promoting in here because that would get you a quick ban wouldn't it so the december 21st shit it was just this it's just black twitter this one lady tweeted about how black people will awaken their true dna their true dna on december 21st and we'll all have superpowers or some bullshit what's my superhero name the niglet the oreo i'm sure somebody's gonna come up with some crazy shit Plug on my socials, it's your butt Tevin literally everywhere. Is that Dr. Pepper? That's a Mountain Dew, dickhead. Tell us some of your fight stories. I've only ever been in two fights and they were over in one hit. I'm soft and don't get into confrontation. I won both the fights that I was in, but it, they weren't like fights. It was just like me punching them and then that was it. My one and only fight was like from fourth grade that didn't even really count. It's like beat downs. I like them. I was like, beat downs? No. At one punch ended it. One punch! <laughs> I remember a bully whooped my ass and I came in the house bleeding. My grandma told me, you either gonna whoop his ass or fight me. I beat the shit out of my grandma. <laughs> I got into a fight over a job at McDonald's. What? <laughs> they could throw my application in the trash. <laughs>
didn't get the job. You didn't win the fight. You lost everything. <laughs> I want you to imagine for like two seconds. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. <sighs> imagine for two seconds of Toad Slayer. <laughs> Imagine Toad Slayer's position real quick. I want you to think for a second, chat. Think about Toad Slayer's position, chat. <laughs> He goes to <laughs> He applies at McDonald's chat. <clears throat> he applies it. <laughs> he applies at McDonald's. <laughs> Try it. He applies at McDonald's trying to get a job. He applies at McDonald's trying to get a job, chat. <laughs> and the dude throws away. <laughs> <laughs> the dude throws away his application and he tries to fight he tries to fight him about it and he gets his ass whooped the McDonald's employees fired for fighting you can't even make that shit up bro you can't even make that up you can't even make that up chat <laughs> oh my god I think I've been laughing for like five straight minutes. Whew. Oh, that's the funny part, man. That's the funny part because it's McDonald's, bro. How they not gonna hire you at McDonald's and then not only hi not hire you, throw your application in the goddamn trash and then you try to fight and then you lose, bro. Gosh. <sighs> They hired the guy who won the fight. I think he fought the dude who was who was interviewing him, bro. That's what it sounds like to me. In my head, it sounds like he went in and he handed his application in. And then they saw the dude looked at it and was like, this shit is trash and threw it away. And then he fought the interviewer and lost. That's what went through my brain. And if that's true, that's the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Honestly, I'm glad I didn't get the job. I'm glad you didn't get the job either because I would never have the greatest story of all time told to me in this moment. Because that was the greatest story ever told. He truly, he truly does not miss. Oh, I'm gonna be laughing about that shit tomorrow. I'm like, damn, Toad, they really got you, huh? Toad down horrendous, truly. Toad is down to, he's at the, he, in that moment, he was at the bottom. Can you imagine if Toad was serious and he was like, we were all sharing like heartfelt stories and he was like, yeah, man, uh, I got into a fight myself. Uh, you know, not every, we don't win every time, Tevin. I feel your pain on the fights. And I'll be like, yeah, I'll be like, yeah, tell me about it, man. Like, this is an open space. I'm here for you. And he was like, yeah, dog, got, in, <clears throat> got into a fight out of McDonald's. A nigga threw away my application. <laughs> Sounds like a villain origin story. <laughs> he threw out my application, so I became a villain to the nation. <laughs> Why did I blow up half of Georgia? <laughs> it all started when I lost a job. Like, the funniest part was when I started thinking about it again. <clears throat> the funniest part was when I started thinking about it again. And I was like, you know how mad you have to be? <laughs> You know, you know how mad you have to be to go to a McDonald's with an application? Your goal is to impress them to give you the job, and then they throw away your application, and then you fight about it? Oh, man, that is so funny. It's like, why do you want to work at McDonald's? And he, he probably put just like, nigga, I'm broke. <laughs> I need money. Who wants to work at McDonald's? <laughs> They were like, fuck this shit, I'm throwing it out. So I was like, what? So I was like, why are you throwing my application? 
His treasure's gotta be that McDonald's application. Oh. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. The next question I have for you, Toad, is that you, you saw, you saw with your own eyes that it was African Cell that you were about to fight, right? You saw it with your eyes and you heard it with your ears. Why did you try to fight African Cell at age 15? Look, chat. Look. Stop the music. Stop the music. The reason why I think that shit is so funny. Think about, the, think about the fucking, just like this fucking massive African man, just this huge build, just this like he's gonna fuck you up, <laughs> and he's got all the cells powers, dog. It, oh my god, that's so funny, and he's just <laughs> whooping the shit out of this fifteen-year-old boy over a McDonald's application. <laughs> That got thrown <laughs> Nothing in this story makes sense, bro. African roach beats child senseless for misspelling McDonald's. Where are you guys? Where are you guys getting these jokes from, bro? <laughs> Man's got heart. Gotta give him that, truly. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, Vegeta's my favorite character. Yeah, you just went in knowing you'd get washed up. Uh. <laughs> Dude got fired like four months later. Did you know him? Were you stalking him? What's the situation, Toad? <laughs> Did you go back to try after he left? He didn't get fired for beating you up either. <laughs> my man got a verbal warning. He lives. He lived in my neighborhood. That is so funny. Oh, man. <laughs> I can imagine him getting choked out on the paper. <laughs> he didn't get fired because <laughs> the other workers were cell juniors. Toad has my infinite respect. The way I see it, Toad Toad is my is my blood brother. I take a bullet for him. He got it with the Jody treatment. <laughs> the African cell was just being reins behind him. He's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> licking his head and shit. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I, I won't forget this moment till the day I die.